Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Parasite E. Last time, we got the uh, slime out of the sewer system, and, well, now we gotta go after it. You might have noticed on the screen below there, from where I started there, uh, there was an exit sign next to a gate there. That's the, well, yeah, obviously, that's the exit to the place. But, well, we can't go through there yet. It's locked. So we gotta find a way to get through there, too. So that way we can report what's going on. So basically, the way you deal with these new mole enemies is wait for them to pop out of the ground, shoot them, and then run away before they can wail on you with their claws. And then once your AT charges up, wait for them to dive down again. I don't know how they're going through all the metal railings, but, well, it's Parasite Eve. So it makes about as much sense as anything else. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Got some more treasure here. I think it's time to clean house. For boss time. Okay, so this is the centipede boss. Now, the trick to this guy is that if you stay to his side, you can pretty much avoid most of the attacks that he does. Just keep on running around when he does that, because that's like the only attack that he has that is kind of hard to avoid. And then shoot him. And you see he has that lunge attack, but he can't hit me because I'm at his side. Okay, or maybe not. Sometimes I have trouble staying to his side. But, well, there you go. I want to try and stay in the middle as much as I can. Because sometimes he likes jumping around the room. Okay, now when he splits into these four parts, what he's going to do here is he's going to move around the room five times and then lunge at you. So, let's see. One... Two. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that's still two. Three, four, five. Okay, now when after five, get, go to the opposite corner, so that way he can't hit you, and then he'll move around again, and we can well, move on. Okay, so let's see. I want to go after that guy. I, I want to try and kill two of them that are, like, right next to each other, so that way it's a little easier to avoid attacks, because sometimes... Uh, even if you're in the opposite corners, it you might not be able to dodge all their attacks sometimes. Or at least sometimes I have trouble with that. Ah, nuts. Whatever. Die. Okay, two. Nuts. Three, four, five. Get out of there! Get out of there! Damn it! Um... Yeah, I'll haste up. I don't care about the damage from the poison anymore. I'm almost done here anyway. Okay. So anyway, let's see. Okay, we got that guy. Okay. Got one more there. Awesome. Let's get in the opposite corner there. And voila. I hate it when they go horizontal like that. Damn it! I can't shoot you when you move like that. Uh, how was he out of range? I was like right next to the guy practically. Whatever. I got him. Hooray! Okay, so. Got more medicine and a new weapon there. Uh, another grenade launcher that has a pretty good ability in my opinion. Let's check it out. Well, first things first. Let's reload. There we go. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use a heal three on this one. Now that we're done with the boss, I, I don't mind that. And, okay, unload that. And then I'll, if you have the Micro Uzi, this is what I would recommend you do. Micro Uzi, new grenade launcher there, and we can get the Frost ability. If you have the M10 machine gun instead, you can't get four slots, so that won't work for you. But it's not that important, but, well, I got lucky at the hospital there. So, I'm going to use a tool to move the ability over there. Don't really care about the rest of the weapon there. Basically, it just lets you deal more damn. It's basically ice elemental on your weapon there. Uh, there's also a fire elemental one, but I don't like that one as much. But the reason why I like Frost, particularly at this point in the game, is that... For the remainder of the game, I believe there aren't any enemies that are immune to ice. Which is the problem with elemental abilities on your weapons, is that some enemies are immune to them, some of them aren't, you just you can't just turn them on and off at will. 
So you'll deal like zero damage to some enemies and then you'll have to switch weapons and that can just get annoying. So there we get a bio protector, tool, and another tool. All right. I've also gotten a super tool from that chest once, but uh, well, not this time. It's pretty ultra rare, so I wouldn't worry about it. But anyway, yeah, the nice thing about Frost is that uh, there are going to be quite a few enemies for the remainder of the game who are weak to it. And I don't, like I said, I don't think there's any enemies who are immune to it. So, hey, why not? I mean, it's not the best ability in the world, but at this point in the game, hey, I got an extra slot, might as well go for it. If you don't have the extra slot, don't worry about it. I've beaten the game quite a few times without using it. It's not really that important. Well, I guess someone tore his arms off for not giving them the gate key. Nuts. Well, where is the slime going towards? It's going towards the sit city! Oh, or the museum. Yeah, okay. But we kind of already knew it was uh, going towards the city, but... Anyway, all right, end of disc one, let's switch to disc two. And I'm willing to bet I'm going to have to change my controls again, aren't I? I gotta go back to digital. Oh, well. Not a huge fan of analog, I'll be honest with you viewers. At least not in this game. Oh, I mean, it can work, but anyway. Okay, so now we're on disc two. Why did they just make a switch discs there? no cutscenes or anything. I mean, usually if they're going to make you switch discs, it's, just, it's because, oh, I'm out of memory here. You gotta switch discs so we can get to the next cutscene of the game, but there was no cutscene. But whatever. So anyway, let's keep on going then. One thing uh, about the frost ability is that we got those moles who are weak to it. So first things first. Yeah, just shoot them. I was thinking about getting closer in range so I could actually hit the bat with it. Or the mole with it when he was further down there. But then the bat might have been able to get in another attack on me. So, but all right. Yeah, annihilated those guys. And we got some bonus points that I almost forgot about. So let's dump those into the Mr. Fusion there and head on down. Gotta get out of here. So, like I said, there was that gate below the save point. I didn't really point it out last time, but it's there, trust me. And well, now we got the gate key, so we can leave that way. No, you don't have to walk all the way out, thank goodness. But now that we're done here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quick step off at the police station there drop off my useless junk and weapons. Although I would hold on to any medicine threes and fours that you got, at least for this next part, because it's pretty short. So I'm gonna head up, drop some stuff off, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And before heading to the museum there, there's one other area that we can go to. The warehouse, so let's go check it out. Not that there's really anything extraordinary there, but we might as well do it. It's just a little side area. You don't have to do it in order to beat the game. Now, if you didn't come here before, if you go over here, this chest, this chest would have had a PPK in there with the first strike ability, but I already got that. There was a tool chest to the left there as well but I already picked that up. I only picked up a couple items here for those who missed the episode there. And let's see, in this chest here, there was a chemical protector, a really good piece of armor that I'm also using right now. So now, let's explore the rest of the warehouse now that I'm a little stronger than I was before. This area is pretty short though. Uh, let's see, well, we gotta go up here first. I was gonna try and get an item, but no, nope, we can't do it. Well, that looks like a tiny rat. Whoa! Okay, I believe in rodents of unusual size now. Nuts. Nuts! Nuts! Ow. Okay, just stay close. There we go. Got it. Wow, these guys are dropping ammo like crazy. 
Holy cow. Not that I really need it, but it's there. But anyway, okay, so here we get the warehouse key, which, well, we're going to need in order to get further into the dungeon there. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention, the uh, centipede boss, you could steal a tool from its head, but I don't really care about that. And there we get another grenade launcher. Yeah, I've got plenty of tools, so I'm not worried about it. But yeah, the grenade launcher there has the heat ability on it, which is basically fire elemental. Again, I don't really care about that. Uh, there's actually a lot of enemies who are immune to heat for the remainder of the game. So, yeah, you don't want to use heat. But anyway, okay. Oh, I got uh, hit with that. Oh yeah, that does remind me though, the uh, bio-protector armor that I picked up back in the subway there. Uh, yeah, that has anti-stiffness. But I don't want to use that right now, because, well, this is just one area and it's really, really short. And I'd rather save it for my ultimate armor, which I'm going to pick up in the... Well, relatively near future. Maybe not next time, but coming up eventually. So, yeah, I don't want to have to move that again. So, and I think there's only one of the uh, anti-stiffness abilities, so you want to watch out for that. Anyway, let's head on over here. And let's see, this chest, what do we get? Ooh, a Spectra Protector! Got decent stats, but I like the chemical protector better. And let's see, a rocket! Ooh, nice. So we get our first rocket crate. Or, well, the only one we get, but yeah. But we don't have anything to use that with. So, but we'll get there soon enough. Soon enough. But yeah, we actually get different ammo types in this game. Only for one weapon type in the whole game, but, well, it's there. But anyway, let's head on over here. Yeah, I don't even have, like, a rocket launcher or anything to go with that thing. What gives? But anyway, up here we get offense plus two. All right. Let's put that on my weapon there. There is a save point right over there. You can see the flashing red light, but I don't think I need it. I think we're doing fine. Yeah, we'll just finish this whole area today. Why not? This area is pretty small. Seems kind of odd that they throw this in here like this. I mean, there's... No real plot significance, or, uh... I mean, there's some good items, don't get me wrong, but that's about it. I'm gonna get hit with stiffness. Oh, well. Or maybe not. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. I can charge him, get hit with stiffness, and then cast haste. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Do that. Take the hit. Haste up. Normally, I don't like taking hits like that, but oh well, not much I can do about it. Fortunately, haste overrides that, so. Alright. Are you ready to hear the most annoying sound in the world, viewers? I hope you are. I am. Eh, it's not that bad, but, uh, yeah, it is kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, so, let's reload there. Use another Medicine 3. Alright. I like using my medicines just because I like keeping my uh, PE up for larger battles or boss fights. And also because if I don't use the medicines for that, I'm going to get overloaded on inventory space anyway. So, But alright, we get offense plus two. Another one. Awesome. And let's see. What's that sound? Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. Anyway, get a little more defense. Awesome. And let's see. One more. Right over here. Alright, tool. I hope you got the burst ability before going down here, viewers, because it would be really, really helpful. Hmm, sounds like a broken gas vein or something. Or main, or whatever the word is. Hmm, seems to be getting louder. But anyway, okay, so, what's making all that noise? For 
boss time! Or crap battle boss time! Okay, first things first, haste up. Now, just like the last boss, uh oh, crap, crap, get my turn! Frickin' hell! I couldn't get my menu up in time. Okay, medicine four. I was going to use barrier, but no! Okay, so, the thing is here, is that he's got three parts. He's got those two claws, and then he's got, well, the head there. With burst, though, you can hit all three at once. So, generally, what I like to do is shoot him in the face, or, well, not in the face, but you want to try and stay to his side if you can. Try to at least hit one of the claws and his head at the same time with your burst ability. Now here, if you are if you stay to his side, you can avoid that attack, as well as his lunges with his claws there. Oh, I need to uh, re-up on haste. So, let's go do that. Awesome. Stay to the side there. Get my next turn. Awesome. Yeah, what someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, wouldn't Burst be better with rifles since you would have more range? And yeah, that's true. But, I'm, I mean, there's no reason not to use it on the machine gun. It overwrites random. I mean, how do you beat that? So yeah, I mean, you could go either way if you want to. Yeah, with haste, you can actually outrun that damn thing. So anyway, yeah, once you get rid of the two claws, the rest is going to be relatively painless. All right, got him. Easy enough, then. And then we get our first grenade launcher, AT-4. Not that it's really that good, but it's there. It deals a lot of damage in one shot. But it's I think it's really, really slow. And, I mean, the DPS is just... It's not worth it. Ow! Ow! Okay, that's enough game. Okay, so you see that? Whatever that is, gas? I don't know. But yeah, you don't want to get hit with that if you can avoid it. How's my HP doing? You know what? I better uh, heal up just in case. Yeah, I'll, well, now nah, I'm going to dump these anyway if I don't use them now. I was thinking of using PE, but no. Phew! Wow, I can't believe I got out of there quickly enough to avoid that. But, alright. Yeah, let's get out of here before uh, that sound tracks me down there. Okay! Well, that's everything we can do here. Now we're going to be heading on back to the museum and see what Eve's doing there. How long can a night at the museum possibly be? Find out next time on Let's Play Parasite Eve. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.